Fourteen people from Hamilton County have been chosen to hear the rape retrial against a former Vanderbilt football player. Attorneys and the judge from Nashville finished selecting a Hamilton County jury to hear the case. News Channel Lines Hannah Lawrence was in court today and yesterday. She joins us now with what they said after finalizing that jury. Hannah. Calvin Latricia, the jury selected to hear Corey Beatty's trial is made up of 10 men and four women from Hamilton County. In addition to those attorneys, I also talked to jurors who were dismissed when the jury was selected, including one of our own News Channel 9 employees. I'd be honest and fair. Those, the words of a man who was called for jury duty for the first time. Also in the same position, News Channel 9's James Howard. I felt like I was in a movie, like <laughs> throughout the whole experience. It was, it was fascinating. Neither were selected to serve on the jury, but both got put on the stand yesterday after telling attorneys they'd heard about this case. I wasn't excused, which I thought I would be excused being a part of the media. You know, I hadn't paid enough close attention to remember it all, but I definitely knew that that there was something going on with Vanderbilt and something going on um, with the sports team. Attorneys said jury selection was difficult in this case because it's so high profile, even out of their jurisdiction. It didn't go unnoticed, you know. Is uh, Chattanooga wasn't hiding under a rock. <laughs> they 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 heard. They know what's going on. Tuesday, Beatty was separated from his co-defendant in the first trial. His defense team says that's what they wanted all along. It's going to be a different case, and it is going to have a, a totally different spin on it. Prosecutors disagree. I don't know what their defense is, but no. Looks like the same case to us, so the evidence hasn't changed. Howard says the men and women selected to serve are under a lot of pressure, especially after a judge called a mistrial in the first guilty verdict because a juror was not honest about his background. I don't know who all knew that, appearing before the judge and, um, and being asked questions, but to know that someone's life is could be in your hands. I think everybody, every citizen should take that seriously. The defense asked jurors if they would be able to fairly consider testimony from a witness also charged in this case. When we asked them later if they were planning to call Beatty's former co-defendant Brandon Vanberg to the stand, they said they couldn't talk about that yet with us. Latricia. Hannah, thank you. Jurors will be bused to Nashville on Sunday. The trial is set to begin Monday morning. After the break, a bipartisan backlash against Donald Trump. What the GOP 